What up, people? Demo Ghost here, and it's been a while, I know. And because of that, there's so many things that I've missed that I kind of want to catch up on, uh, especially Guilty Gear Strive related material. There's been so many things that have come. So this video is just a little bit of my catch up video to get me back into the swing of things. A lot's happened and been going on, but we'll get into that. I want to go and just dive right into Guilty Gear Strive, especially since the beta is live right now for the newest update with most of the characters, all the characters, but Anji and the uh, mystery character that we don't know who it is yet. Uh, I can't play <laughs> the beta right now and I'll tell you why a little bit later. Uh, I just kind of want to talk about all the things that I've missed and the beta. First and foremost, all the characters are looking really sick. Even the characters that we have already knew about, they kind of showed some new stuff that was really freaking cool, like um, Axel's time stop, which looks his JoJo ass time stop looks so freaking awesome. And it just makes me want to play that character so much more. It looks so freaking busted in the best way. And then Kai's got like a dragon install. You know, every single character seems to have gotten an extra super that um, was already announced that we've seen gameplay footage of. At least it seems that way. I haven't obviously played all those characters for myself yet, but it's looking pretty good. And then the new characters that they announced look really sick like Giovanna I love her design I love the little wolf dog thing that like fights with you her kit is very simple it looks like there's not a she doesn't have a lot of moves but I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing like I can imagine a player like Kazunoko just going ham with her just simple rush down mix you up I, I really want to try her he's she's not really my normal play style but she looks she's just such a well-designed character I love her as an addition and the other new character Nagoro Nagoro Yuki I'm probably butchering the shit out of that name at first I was sleeping on this character I'll be being honest he looked pretty he like he had a cool design but his like kid didn't look too cool from the little bit of gameplay footage from way back when he was first showing off but like now seeing everybody play him in beta and all this stuff, he looks right up my alley in terms of like play style and he's a freaking badass character. He looks so much fun. I can't wait to try him out. I love characters that can special cancel into other specials. I mean, I played Sin and Exert. He was one of my big mains. Um, so he just looks like a more fun and more badass Sin. So I am all for uh, Nago and I can't wait to play him. Of course, Zato looks freaking good. Like his, the animation on him is probably the best out of all the characters. Milia looks great. She looks dumb as hell with her mix-ups and shit. I'm also excited to see more about An Anji too, because like with the Guilty Gear Accent Core uh, rollback beta, I went back and played a lot of that game, um, and I actually started picking up Anji from that. And he, he's pretty freaking great I, he just always has big mid-range buttons and his setup play is like his oki butterfly thing is always just like so fun and at least in accent core it's busted as hell um it's definitely probably not going to be the same in strive i i highly doubt they're going to give him his unblockable of course because that was with ex kind of moves or whatever they called them in uh accent core uh so he probably won't that be that but i'm sure he'll still have big buttons he'll still have the oki setup and he'll um just be his general, like, stupid, I ignore your buttons kind of rush you down <laughs> pressure playstyle. And that, that sounds like fun to me. So I I'm looking forward to seeing more of him. But outside of just like the characters, they've shown off a lot of different things. We got a game mode trailer where they showed off different game modes. One of which I'm super excited for is the survival game mode, which was missing from Guilty Gear Exerd. And it looks like they're bringing it back in Strive. And if you don't know how Guilty Gear survival mode goes, it's a little bit different than other fighting game survival modes. It's not just one person after another. You kind of build up these ranks until you, at least how it works in um, Guilty Gear X2 and Axe and Core and all that stuff, is you build up ranks until you get to like 10 or 20 or so, and then you fight an EX Shadow like boss character of one of the different, um, all the different characters in the game, and you kind of go through them, and the EX Shadow characters are all like stupid broken. Like, they all have stupid overpowered moves and it's a lot of fun to like kind of like challenge yourself against them and beat them and still like survival you have to keep your health up and all that stuff and then eventually once you beat all the shadow clones you you go up against like gold ex versions of the characters which are even more busted it's it's a lot of fun and i'm looking forward to see like how far i can go it's like the only survival mode that i've ever enjoyed playing played the shit out of it when um 
on the original Guilty Gear X2. And I'm looking forward to it returning because they did show off some um, images and like short little clips of those EX Shadow boss characters. So it looks like they're doing a similar thing and I'm really glad to have it back. Of course, they have the normal story mode, which you can't play for some reason, and arcade mode. There's like Guilty Gear World to go over all the lore and that's all fine and dandy. Um, the other modes that they kind of showed off in this trailer were like some of the online modes, which people have been able to, of course, try out in the beta. We obviously have the lobby system, which looks like it really hasn't changed all that much since the last beta, which honestly, that's, that's not a good thing. The lobby system still looks like it's shit and um, they really haven't done anything to kind of like fix it or make it better, but they're pushing so damn hard for this for some reason. They, they showed off in the um, game modes trailer that they had stuff like quick match and I, I even saw ranked match, which got me excited, but after seeing some stuff or hearing some stuff about the beta, I'm way less excited for it because I hear the quick match is not really a quick match, that you queue up for quick match and you stay in like the menu system and you're not going into that crappy lobby that nobody wants to deal with, but they put your avatar into the tower lobby thing anyways and you're just sitting there with your sword ready waiting for someone to walk over and challenge you anyways even though you decided not you like kind of opt out of the lobby system and that's just plain old like that's just bs yeah it's like i wanted to avoid the lobby system and you're still making forcing me to do the lobby system anyways why is arc system works pushing so damn hard for this lobby system that just makes everything more complicated it's kind of dumb it's kind of dumb. Just let us have simple matches. And I feel like ranked matches are going to be something similar to that because they were saying before that they weren't going to put ranked matches in because they want to avoid it for some reason and they feel like it splits up the player base. But I am of the opinion that ranked matches are very important in a competitive online game such as fighting games because it helps you play up against other players that are of your skill level because of the matchmaking and all that stuff. And they're trying to do that with this tower system, but this tower system just doesn't really work. And it's really a roundabout way to go about things too, instead of just letting me play, click, hey, let me play against someone. And then I play against someone. I don't want to have to go through all this like, ring around the rosy just to get to a fucking match. It's kind of stupid. And this is the biggest thing that I'm honestly kind of worried about because as much as people complain about Guilty Gear Strive not being the same thing as other Guilty Gear games, it's still a fundamentally pretty solid game from playing it in the past beta and from what I've seen of the, the current beta and it's very fun to play. It's still a Guilty Gear game, just a very different one, and it's got rollback netcode. And these things give it a chance to be something bigger than any other Guilty Gear game has been before. But if this lobby systems and these like quick matches and ranked matches things don't work, it's going to kill itself. Like that that's gonna kill the game. It won't be able to thrive if you're constantly fighting with it just to play a match. And the player base will dwindle really fast because it's just going to be convoluted to even start a match and try to get things and half the time it doesn't work it bugs out you know so that's the biggest thing i'm worried about and i'm hoping that with this beta and them getting another feedback thing and if everybody is again like hey the lobby system it sucks maybe they'll do something about it but it seems pretty is they don't really exactly have a lot of time to change things at this point because the game's just right around the corner. It's in April. Unless they decide to delay it again, they don't really have a lot of time to change and fix things. And I don't want them just to like haphazardly change things and rush it and then that not work very well. You know, it's, it's a thing, but we can only wait and see. Lastly, we still have one character that they haven't announced yet. They, just, they said that they're going to announce it this month. My best bet, my best guess, which I'm just going to go out and just like guess right now, is it's going to be Eno. So, of course, as I'm editing this video, Arc System Works decided to drop uh, the trailer for Eno's announcement as she's going to be the final character for the game. So you're just going to have to believe me when I say that I called it, but I mean, no more guessing for me anyways. We know that Eno's in the game now and she looks really cool. I really like everything about her new redesign, except for maybe the glasses. I don't know. They feel a little bit off to me, but other than that, she looks great. She's, I mean, the trailer didn't really show any like new moves from her in this game. It looks like a lot of the old stuff that she had from previous games, which is fine. I think she really fits well with the rest of the cast. Like she's 
very she's a very different play style compared to the other 14 characters really glad to see her as a new addition but let me know what you guys think in the comments below but yeah that's pretty much wraps up thing i wanted to keep this video pretty short now if you wanted a little bit more updates with me personally because again i've been gone for a long time this this last bit of the video will just be me talking about what's been going on with me and what's going to be going on with the channel going forward um, obviously i've been gone for a while with the whole covid situation that kind of like threw me off my schedule i was constantly moving back and forth from different places starting a losing job starting a new job doing all this kind of stuff so it just kind of like it kind of was out of the uh, rhythm of things and just it made it hard to make any content and then starting this year i was getting back into the swing of things getting on a steady schedule ready to get back into the swing of things and then of course i decided to start the new year off great by uh fracturing my wrist so i can't this is the main reason why i can't play in the guilty gear strive beta because uh this boy right over here is a little uh weak right now you can see me moving my fingers but they're not exactly like strong right now i am um i did have surgery on this so this is after surgery and i can remove this and move it around a little bit but it still hurts it's still sore still very weak very little movement um <clears throat> but i've been dealing with this for like the at least the past month unable to do a whole lot of things and it's been rough but while i have this and i can't play video games and all that stuff i'm going to be still pushing out content new content probably doing a lot more like ranking videos and just like videos of like just talking about certain aspects of games um probably a lot of stuff about music and games because i i'm a musician and i love music so we'll 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 have more content down the road you can look forward to it um i'm going to be working on a ranking video next for um something a little bit different to the channel but also it's a rank video that's what made my channel so we'll we'll keep going on that and you can look forward to more constant updates uh for the new year i'm going to be working hard on it because i've been wanting to get back for so long and it's just been a while but thank you guys all for sticking around if you've stuck around to the end of this video and if you just come back to even watch this video thank you so much i really appreciate it and i'll see you guys in the next video peace <laughs>